What is going on everybody and welcome back to another video on the pickleball guy. Last week on the channel we discussed forehands, so this week we'll be talking about the opposite shot, the backhand. I personally hit a one-handed backhand when I play pickleball, so in this video we're going to exclusively talk about one-handers. I've pinpointed three tips that have helped my backhand tremendously. Number one, hit the ball out in front. Number two, keep the face of the pedal neutral. And number three, open up the shoulders after contact. I'm a huge proponent of hitting the ball out in front of your body on the backhand, specifically because it allows you to make contact with the relatively straight arm, which is a big difference between the forehand and the backhand. Keeping that consistent contact point out front prevents you from getting jammed too close to your body. The contact point should look something like this. When I hit my backhand, I want to make sure that I have a neutral face. Not too happy, not too upset. It should look a little bit something like this. Jokes aside, a neutral racket face means that my pedal isn't too open facing the sky, which leads to popping the ball up, while also not being too closed or facing the ground, which can cause us to hit the ball into the net. If we keep our pedal neutral, where we're looking down at the edge of the pedal instead of at one of the faces, we'll have a much easier time hitting that ball cleanly and powerfully back to the other side. The final tip for hitting successful backhands is to open up our shoulders on the follow through. When I swing, I start with a pretty closed stance, but after contact, opening up my hips and my shoulders allows me to both drive through the ball easier and it puts me in a better position to square up to my opponents after I've hit. If we follow each of these three steps, the backhand should look a little bit something like this. How do I choose between a one-handed and a two-handed backhand? That's a really great question. I'd say that it's based on whatever feels more natural for you. Since I was coming from a tennis background when I started playing pickleball, I had to adjust to a shorter handle, which means that the one-hander felt a little bit more natural for me, but whatever you have success doing is what I'd advocate for. Hi Adam, it's your grandmother again. When are you coming back to the hand state that is Michigan? Hi Grandma, I'll be home before you know it. I like to do a very similar drill for backhand practice as we did in last week's video for forehand practice. In this drill, I'll start hitting backhand to backhand cross court with a partner for a few times in a row. Once we've done that, we'll slide over to the center of the court and we'll hit backhands to one another down the middle. Finally, we'll slide over to the forehand side and we'll hit inside out backhands until we've had a chance to hit backhands from all three spots on the baseline, about 10 or so shots each. Well folks, that wraps up another video on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the support. If you haven't already, I'd be super grateful if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying my content. I will see you next week for a new video.